Peggy 12. Hi, I'm Ryan Vaughn, and I'm a producer on The Sims 3 Pets. I'm a part of the development team, along with Josh, Veronica, and Joanna, and we're here today to give you guys a very special sneak peek at some of the awesome new features we have in this game. I'm here in Appaloosa Plains, and this is the brand new world we've created for the PC expansion. It's made really specifically for pets. It's made perfect for taking your horse out and riding through the hills, but there's also tons of new venues for your Sims and for your pets to go to as well. There's the dog park, there's the cat jungle, and there's even a, a practice horse jumping center that you can take your horse to. There's tons of new life bustling. There's raccoons, there's deer, uh, and even my favorite, wild horses. In the brand new Create a Sim feature, you'll see there's new options to create dogs, cats, and horses. So I think I'm going to recreate my pup at home. Her name's Bella, and she's kind of a mutt, but she looks a little bit like a pit bull. So we're going to start with her. As you can see with the layers here, I can really get in and fine tune the way her fur looks. In advanced mode, I can apply different layers to the pet, and I can actually dynamically resize these. I can move them around on the pet. I'm going to adjust her ears a little bit too, as you can see here, and really kind of pull in her face to make it exactly the way she looks at home. You'll also see that there are tons of brand new breeds to actually select and you can start with these in your customization or you can use one of the breeds to play with in game. Uh, there are 10 types of pets that you can get with the limited edition. They are very special, rare breeds. I think some of my favorites are the, the Tiger Husky and the Tiger Chief. One of the things I really like to do is to make cats and dogs with really crazy colors that are bright and they stand out. You can spot them from a mile away. Then you can actually breed them together and experiment with genetics to see what kind of puppies and kittens you get. Uh, cats, dogs, and horses all have tons of different personality traits. There's the hunter trait, the agile trait, the aggressive trait, the friendly trait, and even the uh, kind of slobby piggy trait too where your pet's going to act like a slob around the house. Dogs can have the destructive trait. If they have this trait, it's really going to make them a little bit more crazy. It's this personality trait that has a big effect on the way they uh, exist in the game. I think the funniest trait is the hyper trait. Hyper pets love to just run around, and you just see them all the time jumping around and be like, hey, how you doing, how you doing? It's really amazing to see horses for the first time in the world of The Sims. You've never seen that sort of mobility that you have with a horse. If you're going to tame a wild horse, the first thing you have to be is patient. As your trust with the wild horse builds, you can eventually feed it treats, and that horse will respond to you more and more and eventually it'll trust you so much it can come and live here. So I am actually a crazy cat lady, and I had three cats at my house. Uh, one was clueless, one was a genius, and one was just adventurous. And I told all of them to go catch me a lizard. And they all went out, they did their thing, and my clueless cat came back with a turtle. And I was just like, that's all I asked for. Uh, but you know, she's clueless. And my genius cat, of course, came back with a lizard. Cats in particular are really good at catching some of the smaller animals you might want to keep as pets. Small cute rodents, turtles, snakes, birds, and they can bring them home for you as long as they're not hungry. You can get them to detect and capture ghosts for you. You'll see like crazy beams come out of their eyes and the ghosts will get sucked in. Then you can go around town collecting ghosts and eventually you'll get some really crazy rewards for that. There are a number of storylines that you can pursue through the game if you so choose. Uh, there's a quest about pirate treasure that might be buried somewhere in town. There's special pirate clothing that you can find. There are relics that you can collect. There's also a secret socialite club that you can try to break into. And there's a quest about becoming an inventor. There you can make some really awesome objects. With new horse objects, I can make the ranch that I want built. I can add box stalls. I can put down hay bales. I can add horse jumps. I can build my own obstacle course. All this is gonna make my ranch look amazing. You can approach horses any way that you want to. You can just have a horse in your backyard and let it eat grass, let it drink, play with it every now and then. Or you can build your Sims life around that horse. You can go out and train with that horse every day. You can make them into a champion racehorse or champion jumping horse. You can put up pyrotechnic jumps and shoot fireworks out as you jump over them. 
You can really make a career out of it. You'll earn enough money to make a living and more. You'll live the life of a, a well-known horse rancher. We've got a number of new karma powers in our game. Uh, ones like Transmogrify, which allows you to change any sim, cat, or dog into any other species, and it actually converts traits. So if you had a sim that was a bookworm, it turns it into a genius cat or a genius dog. There's also Cry Havoc, which makes all your sims bust out and fight each other. They become very, very aggressive. One of the coolest features that I think is in the, the Sims 3 pets for console, uh, specifically Xbox, is the Connect voice commands. You can think of Connect voice commands as uh, verbal shortcuts. Right now she's in her athletic wear. I could switch her over to everyday wear. Switch to everyday. She looks pretty good here. Go to shoes. And it'll pick out shoes. Switch to swimwear. And there you go. So it's much faster to create sims. In live mode, you can also use Connect to direct your sims on how to take care of their own needs and also how to socialize with other sims and pets. Have fun. You can also share your uh, creations with other people through the exchange. Um, you can take screenshots in the game this year and uh, share those with your friends. You can uh, direct your sims and your pets in an entirely new way. With The Sims 3 Pets, not only can you have a pet, but you can be a pet. For the first time ever, you can explore the world and play with life as a cat, a dog, or even a horse. We've had tons of fun making this game, and we know you are going to have even more fun playing.